What's going on, everybody? So this is the start of the mail week video. You guys will see different clips on here, so do not stop watching after I open up this first envelope, because it's probably going to keep skipping to different days picking stuff up. So this first package came from uh, Bench Warmers off of... Was it uh Whatnot? Whatnot. The guy actually belongs to a... Uh, I think he actually runs one of the admins out of Orpa, if you guys belong to Orpa. So it was kind of nice going there. That way I knew somebody. Quick shipping on to it. Even with the holidays. Uh, that's usually my biggest complaint. Is that... Uh, guys on Whatnot just don't ship very quick, a lot of them. Or they just decide not to upload tracking. I don't know how they don't get their payments so quick. Alright, I'm going to try to get with this one just so his address don't show. Oh, it was this way. <laughs> Trying to do all that work so an address doesn't show. Alrighty. Should be three items in here. All of these I actually won for under, uh, uh, probably 50%, under 50% or close to 50% of book value. Sure, there's no more notes on here. Okay. So, get the camera repositioned. Grab my grading light on above me here. There we go. A little bit straighter. So, up first. Christian Watson for the Packers. This is from Upper Deck Black, numbered out of 149. This is selling for around $70, $75 from what I saw when I purchased it. Like I said, I got it for well under half the price, or close to half the price. I don't think I ever went over like maybe 55, 60% on anything. I could be wrong, but I'd have to go back and look. But I know basically all this stuff was. Uh, Done a little bit to lower than what uh, eBay value is, minus fees and all that. So, pretty cool pickup. Don't know what I'll end up doing with it. Might just be one of them ones that I resell on eBay or something like that. All right. I was looking at something on there. Uh, let's go to this one next. Hit the camera. My bad. Matt Corral, Origins. Three color jumbo patch. I think I paid like ten, twelve dollars for that, maybe. And yeah, just picking stuff up like this because it's relatively cheap. Oh, I guess I picked it up for five dollars. My bad. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm way off of what I paid for stuff onto here. But pretty cool overall. Nice little patch. Some of this stuff you guys might have seen uh, come the first of the year on the website. I'm gonna start adding stuff up around then. What's it? Another sticker on the back. Is this what I paid or is this what he started it at? Oh, sorry guys. I'm not used to hugging my camera that way. Well, I don't know how it was now. But select RPA of Stevenson for the Patriots. I had a small little credit on whatnot, so I used to add on top of it. And I think I spent like with the credit like 20 bucks onto it. Pretty, pretty good running back up there in New England. I know running backs fade out really quick, too. But numbered out of 75. So I figured I'd pick up some new stuff off of whatnot because the shows that I go to, I can't find deals like that. <laughs> and I know a lot of people say they don't like whatnot for various reasons on to it, but it's been pretty good if you just spend the time on to there, find people, and just not get frustrated. I can say I have everything that I bought up and through Sunday. All but one. All right, guys, continuing on, continuing on. Two packages in today. So this will be like day two into the same video. I will say when I picked this up, it's so light. I really hope nothing's happened to it. This is why you use cardboard when you ship. Mr. People and whatnot, you want to be able to keep your customers and not have returns ship properly. I can understand if this would have been bricked with about five or six cards, but one single card, no go. But here we go. I'll show you guys the one card. At least they put something over top of it. Even though when you do this, 
Look at that. You destroy this card with the edges. Just lay the sticker over top. Ah, I hate when people do this. Shame. But we're fine. I'll have to get it fixed out there. Matt Corral. Origins. RPA 3 color out of 49, guys. Very happy with obtaining this. Um, just their shipping, man. Team bag. Instead of buying the sticker, put a team bag in. It's cheaper. Am I right, everybody? Put in the comments section, man. You want a sticker over or do you want a team bag? <laughs> Pretty sure everybody's going to say team bag. All right. Probably want to buy from him again. Okay, okay. But we're really excited to get the card. All right. This was a break. AJ's breaks from whatnot. Uh, the monster then actually turned me on. I shouldn't say turned me on, but uh, pushed me on to him. A while back when he used to do breaks on her. Now, if you go sit, check the monster den out, he is all about the video games. Pretty cool stuff. Went in there the other night watching him for a little bit. All right, let me see how he did in there. Okay, that's the receipt that you're supposed to put in there. First person's put the receipt in there. Or the pack and slip. All right, I think, oh, there's more yet. All right, that's everything. Okay, cool. Yeah, so you're supposed to get one of these with your order, and everybody else so far has failed to do that. Man, I hope Whatnot actually watches these videos and starts to be like, hey, what were those guys' names? Because it's easy for me to go back and look and tell you. AJ's Breaks, good packing. And this one time about team bags and bricking, I'm not mad. Single card, no team bag, piece of tape over it, no cardboard around it, I'm upset. I hit this as a giveaway, actually, guys. I don't know if anybody's interested in these dudes. Cade Macanera. Noah Suell. These are the autos. Andro Anthony. This is out of Onyx. And Jack Sawyer. I believe this was the card. It was like $25 or $40 when I looked it up on the bay. And I couldn't remember what color the ink was on. So I'll have to look it back up. Defensive end and a wild receiver. And I knew that McNara guy was a QB, but pretty cool hit a giveaway. First giveaway I've ever won on Whatnot, I believe, too. Uh, let's look at the basketball. Basketball, Jones, because I have no idea what I did in basketball. Football will do last. It was kind of fun, kind of fun. I haven't been in breaks in a while, and this stuff, I mean, I really didn't want to get into, I wouldn't want to take more than one team, but they were going so cheap that I was like, man, they're supposed to should be like 35 a spot, and they were going for like 11, and I think the most I had on one was like 16 bones. So you know, what the heck. All right, let's take a look. Ray a rookie, Jason Preston. Ooh, let me get it up here. Brandon Boston. Not related to Brandon Cooks out of 99. Shea Payton. Theo. I'm just seeing if there's anybody in there I like. These are all base. Maybe these would be good for kids' packs, probably, huh? I don't know. Oh, let's just go... Oh, he has those in the sleeves. Okay. The Kwahi Leonard Red. I really like this card. Definitely off-center, left to right. Man, if it had been centered better, I'd probably grade it. Out of 85, out of 85, put that in pile for whatnot. Cameron Johnson. Uh, was that considered a disco? Disco fever. All right. Chris Paul. Probably got to be great. This is the gold wave out of T-Mall. Um, just because I have to probably put something else in this order coming up to make the bare minimum, this might be the card. We'll put that off to the side. Uh, some pink ices. Harrison Barnes. Cat. Malcolm. Oh, this was the other one. I forgot about this. Quiz Duarte. Duarte, that is. This is a level two. A little bit whiting up there and down here. The, the, uh, they call these things now. Something Kings. I can't. It's not even hitting me now. Court Kings. Court Kings. Yep, I know you guys are all yelling at me. Court Kings, man. Court Kings. All right. Who's there? that up there. Alright, NT. 
Or, yeah, NT. Oh, there's some stuff in between NT. Cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna go like this to get out. He got this in tight. That's the way I like it. Oh. Oh, grab this. Yeah, I like this. Kind of these, doing it this way. Kind of like one big longer video for everybody. Put that down. Oh, I had more basketball. Luca Garza. Great rookie. Oh, I'm just looking through these just to see if I see something maybe I like. Seiku. Everybody remember how much hype he had? Seiku! Because nobody could say Doomboya was always Seiku on every break. Oh, uh, Killian Hay. Oh, no, I'd be second year. Oh, here we go. Oh, I have an auto. T oh, that's for NT. Isaiah Livers. Ray Rookie Disco. Hmm. But I had three cards I hit out of this box. I could be wrong, though. Jameson Williams Colossal. Pretty cool out of 10. And then a Jameson Williams RPA. Alabama, roll tide roll. Something I never thought I'd say coming out of my mouth. Roll tide roll. Uh, put Duarte over here. It'll be part of the whatnot thing one night. That's it, guys. Pretty cool stuff. I mean, the corral, like I said. Um, two Jameson Williams, kind of cool stuff there. I know it's collegiate, but hey, it's cheap and affordable, right, guys? This was all freebies. The Chris Paul, the corral. Pretty cool stuff. All right, guys. Don't turn the video off. We're still going. Day next uh, day is coming right up now. All right, guys. Continuing on. This should end uh, the packages for this week's mail week. So four of them here. <clears throat> As I open them, I'll tell you guys how I got obtained them. I th think only maybe one, maybe two or whatnots at the most. So I'm gonna be careful. This is a whatnot package here, and I'm hoping nothing has happened to this card. Oh, goodness. At least he uh, top-loaded it. Whew. I was worried. Let me... I get all this open here. Oh, he didn't put a backer on. Too cool. So, Nico Horner, Topps Bazooka Auto. Picked this up for $10. They're selling for around $25. Figured, what the heck? You know, something for baseball season. I don't usually carry a whole lot of baseball product anymore. But for the showcase, something different for next month or website. All right, let me just look and see where stuff's coming from. I believe this is an eBay purchase. I talked about, if this is the eBay purchase, I've talked about picking this up on overtime. Kind of hard cutting stuff here when I'm looking at it through an angle. Weird part was I picked this up on like a Friday. Thought it'd go out Saturday. Nope. Maybe Sunday. Nope. Went out Tuesday. Yep, that's it. I'm gonna take it out of this. <laughs> For the price of a blaster box, I picked up a true Sam Darnold flawless RPA out of 15. This product's thousands of dollars. This was one of the top quarterbacks in the class. And I mean why not? I mean, he's down Carolina now. He's starting, not doing too bad. I mean, they've been they switched between him and Baker, and then they threw somebody else in for a minute. But he's back to starting quarterback. So basically, this was like thirty dollars for this card. Insane. Still can't believe that. Guys, I mean, honestly, it should be more than thirty dollars. I think they were selling between like thirty and maybe fifty dollars max on eBay, and. I'm just really shocked by it. It's one of those things, uh, oh, I can go buy myself a blaster and get nothing or buy a Sam Darnold a flawless RPA. Sorry, I guess throwing trash away. All right. Oh, this has my name on it. Yeah, I think that was the only whatnot one I had left, guys. I think this here should be a pickup off of Facebook.
This is funny. Danica, I didn't pick this card up. It's Danica Patrick, but look at her uh, logo. Daddy.com, it says. It's supposed to be GoDaddy, but I just got it was hilarious by Daddy.com. There used to be a YouTube, now I think it's a podcast series called, uh, like, they call, don't call or call me daddy or something like that. I don't know if you guys ever watched it. All right. Oh, man, this case is all crappy. All right, we're going to take this out of the case because, man, it's great case is crappy. It's actually going to end up going in a one touch. Even read the year in the back. I want to say this is 1997, though. Bowman's best Tony Gwynn Auto won this for $20 on Facebook. You don't see a whole lot of his stuff autoed when you do it, it's usually like in person. And you guys can tell, certified autograph up here. Bowman's best. Really glad to find out and pick that up. I sold two other Gwyn autos that I had very quickly at shows. I think value on that somewhere around like a hundred, hundred and a quarter. Just me thinking roughly off the top of my head. Last one, another win. I think I was in this for fifty four dollars. Nice. I like it when people use packaging and paper, painter's tape. But we'll take it out of this. Tyrese Maxi Select Rookie Auto. Come on. There we go. There we go. Show it. Show it. There we go. Looks good. Pretty cool stuff. So really happy with the pickups this week. Um, so a little bit of my bigger stuff or stuff that hasn't been moving. It shows either through DC Sports, the website, uh, eBay, Cardvision. No, I didn't do anything on Cardvision. I don't think I did now. But slowly I was starting to pick up stuff like this. And I mean, granted, you know, it's different. Hopefully it does well through time. Um, my idea was I seen a lot of the bigger cards coming down in price. And to me, I, w I hate worrying about one big card that I have money put into versus I could have something like, you know, say I sold a uh, $800 card and granted, I know I didn't pick this all up for 800, maybe 80, 100, we'll be, we'll just call it like maybe one. 30 with shipping because of the flawless. And I can have more room for error where some of these cards might go up, might stay the same, a couple might go down, versus worrying about that one big card. And that's been my thing all along here recently uh, with moving a lot of my stuff. It's stagnant that I'm, I was kind of worried about in the showcases. It was like time to get what I can for it and stuff like that and reinvest, put into some other areas. To hopefully end up buying some more PC cards in 2023, of course. All right, guys. Let me know what you guys think of the mail week. Hopefully, you guys like this format a little bit different. I'm going to chapter it out in the bottom. So, it'll say Monday or Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday mail days and stuff. Uh, I'll probably keep up the tradition throughout the week because I'm trying to just pick some stuff up here for shows and stuff like that. And with stuff not like skyrocketing high to where I'm going to be worried about people like, oh, he picked this up. That's a good idea. I'm going to go get it. And then they lose money. And I think, man, was my video the cause of it? At least here I'm kind of showing you guys what I'm grabbing. It's nothing real crazy across the board. All right, guys, take care. Appreciate you watching this week's Mail Week. Have a good one. Out.